Okay, so let's start hacking away. And the first thing I'm going to do is to take a copy of the world file. Not only as a protection, but because of what I'm going to do with it next. So I've all right, copy world to world back up. So now I've got a copy of the world file. The next thing I'm going to do is to edit the world file. And I'm going to um, keep, so I'm going to remove all the packages I don't think I'm going to need while I'm doing this update. So I'll keep this K log D that's reasonably important package. Um, I'll get rid of these file compression programs. Uh, Vim I'll get rid of. Screen. LibreOffice definitely get rid of that. All these high level packages I definitely want to get rid of. CPU ID to CPU flags. Don't need that. EIX I'll keep. Gen Toolkit. Portal. I think that's been removed now actually. But um, yeah I won't be needing that so I'll get rid of that get rid of that. Um, I'll leave the Java there. I'm not sure if that's used by the system or not. XLS. Yeah, get rid of all these KDE apps, KDE Plasma, fonts, get rid of. And then again, some high level pa packages here, get rid of them, audio stuff, video. Um, NFS utils, don't think I need that. I'll keep the network interface stuff. NTP don't need, cups, WK supplicant, don't need these. Right, I'll keep grub. Um, do I need grub? Yeah, I'll need that to update the menu when I do the kernel, so I'll keep that. The microcode I definitely need, the kernel I will need, firmware I need, GPM I'll keep, crony I don't need, yeah, I'll get rid of the browsers and all this X stuff. So I've got. 10 files there, the looks of it. So I'll keep them. Now, what I want to do is to remove all the other files. So, the best way to do that is if I copy world.backup into temp world delete. And I'll just cat world. And if I edit this world delete, and I'll, this time I'll remove the packages that I'm keeping so that I can use this as a steering file to delete. Oops, temp. Use it as a steering file to delete um, the packages from the world that I, I don't want while I'm doing the update. So I want to do syscalog D, EIX, gen toolkit, syscalog D. AIX and Gen Toolkit, and then Oracle, Net IRC, and Grub. Oracle, Net IRC, and Grub. Intel Micro Gen 2, Linux, and GPM. Intel Micro Gen 2, Linux, and GPM. Right, okay. So now if I do a word count on world, 10 packages, word count on forward slash temp, world delete, there's 53. So hopefully in world.backup there should be a total of 63 packages. Yeah, there is. So that, that's just a double check there of deleted the correct number of packages. So what I need to do now is to remove these packages and let's say that this world delete file is a steering file that I've created so I can do something like emerge minus depth clean dollar bracket and run the command cat forward slash temp world delete and I'll ask, use the ask option. In fact, if I do the P option, I think it tells me what, uh, how many it's going to delete. So that will confirm. If 
43, so it's, oh, it's only going to actually remove 46, so maybe some of these packages, for example, I think Cups is one, um, they're probably kept back because something else is using them that's currently installed on the system. Yeah, I can't see Cups there. An Argory Cup shouldn't be in there in that case because it's being used, it's being brought in by something else. So that could be something I could do with the world file is not to install uh, or not to keep in the world file when I'm uh, reinstalling packages, any packages that I find are already installed like cups um, as it's generally it can be a bad thing to have too many things in the world file although obviously if I delete or remove a package that the package that's calling in cups and I lose, lose print capability then that's obviously an issue. Um, but that's the sort of thing you inspect when you are cleaning up packages. If you see it's pulling out something you don't want pulled out, then that would be the time you could add it to the world file. But that's that's off topic a bit at the moment now. So anyway, this list looks good. It's deleting most of what I want to delete. So I'll just do minus A this time. Okay, that looks the same. So I'll just press enter there to accept that I want to delete those. So the next thing I need to do is to run depth clean minus A and this should, I'll time this because I think it's going to take a while. Um, this will now identify all the dependencies that are brought in by those packages in the world that I've deleted. So yeah, you can see there's many, many, many there. How many is there? It's going to remove nearly 600, so that's cutting down the total installed uh, package base by uh, approximately 50%. So I shall run this now. And take, like I say, a few minutes, maybe five or ten minutes, and resume when it's done. Okay, so that took 16 minutes to uh, remove 600, nearly 600 packages from the system. Um, there's a few output messages here, but generally, as so we're removing, they probably don't um, need much attention. Um, so we should have a fairly clean system now.